Hey, I want to welcome y'all back to the kitchen again. And what I'm fixing to do is not a kitchen thing, but I think it'll be easy to show you how to do it laying it on this butcher block. Um, it's folding t-shirts. And how I used to do them, when I'd get them out of the dryer, I would just fold them in half at the neck and line the sleeves up like this. And I would fold that sleeve over and fold me a little square. Well, they were wrinkled and they took up room in the drawer. And when you'd go to wear them, you'd need to steam them or something. But when you take them out of the dryer, if you'll just uh, catch them facing you and give them a good slap like that and get them smooth, then you lay them down. On a, I don't even have to lay them down, but I'm going to show you how I learned this, this to start with. You lay them down on a smooth surface, and just a minute, I'm going to turn the camera down right with it. So I have the neck of the t-shirt at my right hand. And you come over about middle of the shoulder seam, and you catch it. You put your, your finger under it and catch it. And then in a straight line down right under the armhole, a little ways down from the armhole, you're going to pinch you up. So you're, you've got you a piece here like this. Then you're going to take your right hand and you're going to come over and you're going to catch it at the bottom as though you took that line all the way down. And you're going to shake it smooth. And then you're just going to fold it over just like that and fold it again like that. And look what you've got. The neatest folded t-shirt. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm right-handed, so I want the neck of the shirt. Let me see if I can zoom up a little bit. I want the neck of the shirt at my right hand. So basically what you're doing is you're making a crease all the way down, but it's the way you're holding it that flips it and makes it fold, okay? So get you a, about halfway of the shoulder seam, catch it. Then with your other hand, down under the armpit a little ways, catch it. Then bring it all over and pick it up at the bottom Fold it over like that. Fold it up. And let me tell you, they stack in the drawer so well like that. I'm going to do it one more time. Make sure, I'm trying to watch the camera to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Catch it at the, catch it at the neck up here. Catch it down under the arm. And then you're going to go down to the bottom. And I just take my pointing finger and I put it up under both layers, front and back, like in the straight line down. And then you're just going to, when you get it up, fold it over. You can straighten that sleeve out some if you want to. Fold it over. Fold it in half again. And they just stack in the drawer perfectly. And they're not wrinkled. So that's a good uh, tip for y'all to use to fold your, your t-shirts up. I'm going to do it one more time. I may not need to, but let me show you. Catch it at the shoulder seam, right here. I'm catching it at the shoulder seam. Then I'm catching it right under the, about an inch or two under the arm. You want to, you want to do it to where, and then down here I'm gonna catch it, and see what it is. You've got it. When you catch it at the bottom, you carry it all the way down, and it folds it up for you. And then you just fold it over and over again, and you've got you. And they pack so good in a suitcase. I hope that's clear. I hope I did it where you could see what to do because it takes some practice. I mean, I can take them out of the dryer now and I don't even have to lay them down and do all that. I just take them out of the dryer and grab it and reach down here and grab it, pop it smooth, fold it over, and I've got my t-shirts folded. So once you get the hang of it, you don't have to go through all of the laying it flat. But I wanted to share that with you because that's something I have so enjoyed knowing. I showed it to my daughter. She has three kids wearing t-shirts plus her husband. And she said, Mama, that is so good because if you get them warm out of the dryer and fold them, you have to iron them. So just another tip for y'all. Have a good day.